In this video, I'm going to illustrate how to use the Yammer export processor to get a more enhanced export of Yammer data than I would typically get in the network administration area of Yammer, and then be able to pull that into Excel to do some really great reporting. So I'm going to go out to yammer.azurewebsites.net, um, which hosts the Yammer export processor. So this is a service that runs within Windows Azure. The first step is to log into Yammer, so I'm going to go ahead and click log in. And I'll go ahead and log in with my user. The next step is going to ask me to accept the terms and conditions. This is basically the usage guidelines of using this tool. Now it's a great utility, it gets a lot of enhancements on a typical Yammer data export. However, we just want you to be aware that it is going and doing an export from, y from Yammer, which might include things like private messages, possibly sensitive information. Now, the utility doesn't use any of this information other than to do um, an export for you. However, you do need to be aware of that, um, and if you're not comfortable with that, then don't use the tool. So I'm going to go ahead and accept the terms and conditions and click Next. It's now going to ask me to select what network I want to do an export against. And so um, this will display all of my networks, but it's only going to actually allow you to do an export of networks that you're an administrator of. So I'll go ahead and select one here. It'll do that check to see that I'm verified. And now it lets me move on because I'm a verified admin of that network. Next, it's going to say, what is the time frame for your export? This is very similar to doing the export within Yammer. I basically provide a start date, and it's going to export everything from that time forward. So I'll go ahead and maybe do from the beginning of 2014 and click Next. Here's where I get to specify some options of the export. These are all things that this utility can do for me. So it can basically pull out things like likes and shares and mentions and follows time between messages. So if I want to see how quickly a thread is, is growing or how quickly um, a message is replied to, I can, I can get that here. We can even process me message sentiment. And then we can do things like exclude private messages and messages from private groups if you want to exclude that from your data set. So I'll go ahead and click Next. The next step is because I wanted sentiment analysis, that was one of my options on the previous screen, in order to do that, we use an external sentiment processor. And um, this requires an API key. So this screen describes how you can go out to MaShape, which hosts that sentiment analysis engine, and basically describes how I can go and get an API key. So I'm going to go ahead and paste my API key in here. I'll probably cut this part out of the video because I do not want my API key getting out. Okay, so the final screen is a review. This gives me one last time to make sure that I have all the right options that I want before I actually start the export. Very similar to a checkout process. You know, you have one last chance to review your cart before you check out. So at this point, I'm ready to start my export, so I will click the Start Export button. Now, as soon as I click on that, it's going to take me to a status screen. Now, the status screen, um, it might take a few minutes for it to start seeing progress because it takes maybe a few seconds for it to start processing. So you can see now it's starting to do the processing, and we'll see updates periodically that show its progress. Now, this is a really small network, so it's going to be very fast. For a large network or for a really wide time frame, maybe I want to do two years worth of data, um, it could take a significant amount of time. It could take hours, maybe even days, depending upon how much volume there is in your network. And so this, uh, when it completes, if, if it is taking a long time, you can simply bookmark this URL and you can come back to it any time. So I, you'll see here, I can actually close that window altogether, open it back up, and if I've bookmarked that page, what we'll see is I can get um, a status of things. It'll take a second for it to kick in the first time, but um, what I'll ultimately see is um, it, it'll refresh back to its progress. So we're at 95%. Now it's complete. Okay, so now the export's done, and I can click on the hyperlink here to actually get the export files. So I'll go ahead and open this. There you can see is the export, and there's a lot of new things in here than a traditional export from Yammer. So I have you know new things like 
user mentions and tag mentions and um, you know things like uh, you know sentiment that's been added to my messages uh, file. So I'm ready to now take this and be able to use it within Excel. So on the blog for this post, for this video, there is a download for a, a pre-built Excel model. So I'm gonna go ahead and open that here. Um, actually, one step we need to do first is I need to copy these to a very specific location. Um, so here's all my export files. I need to copy these to C exports. So I'm under, I'm in my C drive exports and it has to be this location if you want to use our pre-built Excel model because it's basically the data connections are, are looking at that location. So I'm just going to copy all of these files over to that C exports location. Now I'm done with the, the export that lives out online and, and I have the ability now to actually use this. So I'm going to open now that Excel document that is pre-built. It's the Yammer Power BI .xlsx. And this has a model that's already been modeled inside of Power Pivot. All we have to do is go and refresh all of the, the data sources against that export that we just created. And so the process for doing that is we're going to go to the Power Pivot tab once this finally opens. So we'll go over to the Power Pivot tab up at the top. If you don't have the Power Pivot tab, uh, there's a link on the blog post that shows you how you can go and enable that. But I can go to the Power Pivot tab and I'm going to click on the Manage Model here. So this Manage Model button is going to launch the Power Pivot window. Once I get the Power Pivot window up, I'm simply going to go and refresh all of my data tabs. You can see here I have a bunch of different data tabs for dates, groups, users, messages, likes, all of those different things. But what I want to do is go up to the top here and I have an option to do a data refresh. So that's what I'm going to do is I'm going to do a data refresh here. So I'm going to click on the drop down list and I'm going to refresh all. This will load up a window that shows the progress of our data refresh. This can take a long time as well. Now, again, I have a small network, so it took no time whatsoever. But if you have a very big network, it might take, again, minutes, maybe an hour, but um, it should probably finish within, within minutes. Um, and this is also a place just to be aware that if you have a very large network, a very large export, you might actually need the 64-bit version of Office. Most people will have the 32-bit version installed. You might need to look at a 64-bit, which basically allows you to um, use more resources of your computer. Um, it basically, Power Pivot works with all this data in memory and therefore allows us to use a little bit more memory in that 64-bit version. Now that our data refresh is complete, I can simply close this window. I can even close the Power Pivot, Power Pivot window and I can go right back. It'll tell me the data model has changed and we need to refresh. But ultimately I can say okay and I can immediately start working with uh, my data. So I can go into all these, these there's some pre-built uh, power views that are in here, but I can also create my own or use any of the other data visualization tools that um, can connect to Power Pivot. So hopefully this shows you how incredibly easy it is to use the, ex the Yammer export processor and pull that export into this pre-built Excel model so that you can start doing some great reporting against your Yammer information.